Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to look at percentages in Microsoft Excel and explain why you have to be really careful when you start averaging percentages. So in this first example, I'm going to have two examples and then I'm going to make a pivot table that will correctly calculate the average percentage. So in example one, we surveyed kids and adults and we asked them if they like trick cereal. Well, according to that chart, it is 70% do like it. 98% of kids liked it. 42% of adults liked it. 98 plus 42 divided by 2. That would be 70%. There is my average function right there. And that's where this chart's coming from. But what I didn't tell you and what makes this percentage incorrect is we surveyed 500 kids, we surveyed 4,500 adults. So if you take those, the average is still 70%, 98 and 42. But the issue is the real percentage is the 500 times the 98%. So 490 out of 500 kids said yes, they like trick cereal. But for the adults, only 1,000 890 out of 4,500 did. So I'm going to get the correct percentage by summing up the total surveyed by the total favorable and then the correct percentage is the 2,380 divided by the 5,000. So as you can see, there is a huge difference between 70% and 47.6%, which is actually the correct average for this survey. Example number two, we swap worksheets. I'm about to make this pivot table. We are in charge, these are a list of customers. We're in charge of the advertising source billboard. And all the invoice dates in column I are for the fourth quarter. They're all October 1st through December 31st. We told, we told the VPs or the executive staff that we could reach a 40% profit percentage, which is showing up in column L. And they said no one's ever met 40% profit percentage. If you do, we're going to send you and your staff on a retreat. So we have the numbers. I've already sorted by advertising source, so all the billboards are together. So someone on the staff selects all the percentages for billboard, the profit percentage, L2 through L9, and they look down below and it says average 35%. So we didn't meet 40%, so no retreat. But here's the issue. We have different invoice amounts and different costs. So basically, 1800 minus 900 is a profit of 900 divided by the 1800 gives you 50%. The 40% is correct too. We made $400 on this order, so we earned 40% profit percentage. And even if, just to prove that that 35% was the correct number based on what we did, percentage there you go so there's our 35 percent again but the answer is we actually did over 40 percent so we need to be careful with our percentages again I'm gonna do this the really long way first and then I'm gonna come back and do it with a pivot table which is going to be so much easier so if I sum up all the invoice amounts We brought in 7,810. It cost us 46.72. We made net income 3,138. So therefore, for quarter four, profit percentage is 40.2%. We earned our trip. But I don't want to sit here and do that, because especially I just did it for billboard. What if you need to do it for every one of your advertising sources? Billboard, Facebook, Google Ads. 
I'm going to make a pivot table and I'm going to use a calculated field. So here we go. Insert tab, pivot table. Microsoft Excel picked up my data, A1 through L36. It's going to put it on a new worksheet. I'm going to click OK. Here's my field list. I'm worried about advertising source, so there's billboard. I'm also, you don't need to technically show this, but it just makes it easier. Invoice amount and cost, those are correct. I'm going to check profit percentage, but I really, again, it's going to be incorrect. It's summing them up, so that's why I have 2.776. Just double click make it average and hit OK and I bet I end up with 35% I do 0.347 that's 35% rounded so again this is still no good to me so be careful with percentages when you're averaging them so to get that 40% which is correct pivot table tools analyze I'm gonna do under calculations a calculated field I'm going to call this, you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to abbreviate it. I named it PROF underscore PERC. That works. I, there was a zero there. I backspaced through the zero. So I'm leaving the equal symbol, and there's actually a space in there, which is okay. What I want to do is take the total invoice amount. I double clicked invoice amount minus cost double click close the parent invoice amount minus cost will give you your net income I'm going to divide that by the invoice amount and I'm going to just simply click on OK and we should have a new field that wasn't in our data but we need it for our pivot table called profit percentage there it is in column D it is already correct. I'm just going to make these look like percentages real quick. I'm going to go to number format, percent, one decimal. I should get 40.2 on that first one. We earned our getaway for the department, 40.2 for billboard, too. So there is a calculated field in a pivot table, but the lesson to learn is be really careful when you see percentages and someone said they averaged them if they surveyed or if the numbers are exactly the same then you can average the percentages because they'll be exactly the same um, but if you have different numbers just like we did over here also use a pivot table use a calculated field Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful weekend.